It's time for My Mistival, provided by Zips Car Wash. Now, when you think of marbling, you might think of a countertop or the helmet of someone in the military. Marbling is a classic paint swirling technique, and we can actually tackle the task of marbling with nail polish to create wonderful masterpieces. You will also need a pipette. Don't worry, there's an alternative solution if you don't have one of these, though. A bowl pan or Tupperware that you are fine getting messy because it won't likely look the same again, filled about halfway with room temperature water. Cardstock or thick paper of some kind. Acetone. And some paper towels. And just to let you know, your fingernails will get a little messy, so avoid doing this project if you just got a fresh mani. First thing you want to do is open the lids of your nail polishes and use the pipette to soak up some nail polish from one of the bottles. Squeeze out that polish near the surface of the water. You will see the polish floats on top of the water. Repeat this step to add as many colors as you want from the other nail polish bottles. If you don't have a pipette, feel free to just slowly pour the nail polish bottle into the water. You can even use a stirring stick or toothpick to move around the colors a bit. Once you are finished adding your polish, take your cardstock or thick paper and drop it straight into the water of your container. When you lift it up, voila, a masterpiece. Now paper is just the start. You can marble ornaments, eggs, maybe a pencil holder, or if you're real brave, you can even try to marble your finger or toenails. I just stuck to paper. So how exactly does this work? Nail polish in the bottle has three main ingredients. Pigment, the colored stuff, binder, the glue that holds it onto your nail, and the vehicle, the solvent that makes it all a liquid. The sink or flow property is determined by density, how much a given volume weighs. Most solvents, at least those used in nail polish, are less dense and will float on water. Since liquid polish floats on water, the density must be less than that of water. And once the polish is floating, it is actually easy for the solvent to evaporate into the air. This is that odor you smell when doing your nails. Now go on and make some masterpieces that even Van Gogh himself would be proud of. Good luck!